Yeah, I want to walk you through the application I just developed. I recently just finished this application a couple of hours ago. It's um Amazon Clone Hub. I cloned the Amazon website. Basically, what I'm going to take you through today tonight is um, how it works. It's not a finished product. I just thought to share my progress with you guys. I'm still going to develop. I'm still going to create how to make payments on this web page. So now I have what is called authentication, and the provider is Google. So this website is is authenticated by Google. That means when you log in, Google is going to run a backend and see if you have an account on this website. Otherwise, it's going to tell you to create another account. So I'm going to put in my information that I already used on this account, and I'm going to try to log in. No, sorry, to create an account and see what is going to happen. And the password so now if I click on this button see what it says it said the email address is already in use by another account which means I can't use that email address anymore so if I since I already have this account in use so when I click this it takes me to the page the home page now this is my own page because it has my name it has my name identity on this page why did I say that look at this top page here you see where my mouse is at look at it my the email address I used to log in that is what you have here you see the email address so now when I shop I go I click things you know some people will always love, like to buy things so you click whatever you want to buy and check here you have 13 items selected already and it goes straight into your basket and there's a count for it here so you see and did you notice one thing look at how those those messages look at how those pages look at how they dropped let me go back again and show you see see the way they dropped that's an effect that is an effect by spring okay spring is an extent is an um is a component in react okay this website was created by react which react i use react firebase for the back end for the database and all that so you can also delete, delete, delete if you don't want, just delete things randomly, you know, and just delete things how you want it, you know, anywhere, from anywhere. You don't have to, like, algorithm, um, you don't have to delete it step by step, you can delete randomly. So, and it's again, as you delete, it reduces your price also, and it reduces your count. Now, proceed to checkout, is what I'm working on presently. So, this site, this website is not finished yet. I just thought to, like I said, I just thought to share to share my experience with you, you know. So that is it. So tonight I'm working on that. It's, it's all for him here, almost one year, and I'm still working. This is what I do every night for over six months now. I've been working all night. You know, it's so inspiring. It's so in, it's so interesting. Though. I love it though. So this is the home page. Back to the home page, and I can sign out. Sign in. Take me back to this page. Yeah. So. I'm going to share the other product when it's finished. I'm going to share how I'm going to walk you through how you can pay online, you know, how you can interact the way you usually interact with Amazon website. Thank you guys.